Now, I'm going to hand back over to Klaus, who's going to run through some case studies, and we'll have time to run through these in some detail. Okay, thank you very much, Sean. Um, I think that was a wonderful explanation of our technologies. Um, you probably noticed uh, Sean is from Australia, and that's what, where the technology also originates. Um, and so most of the um, projects that have been installed worldwide come from the southern hemisphere. And um, uh, but um, being um, a company in the United States and representing our team here, um, we wanted to um, show two project um, case studies um, that we are ver very proud of. And um, the first one is in California, in um, Newport Beach, and um, we we actually did a, a new, we did a project there using the um, expanded technology, and um, we rehabilitated around 40 culverts. Um, a di diameter ranging from 12 to 24 inch. Um, the challenges um, in that particular area were that the location was in an ecological reserve, so extremely sensitive area in terms of wildlife and um, um, flora there as well. Um, the pipe location was difficult to access um, and um, so uh, chemical components were not really allowed on site. Um, and we were struggling uh, there with monitoring tidal flows. Um, so the owner came uh, to us um, looking for a technology that is not affected by flow conditions. Um, and again, we, we, we could utilize our technology, um, the EX technology, where uh, flow was acceptable in the pipeline. Um, so we installed roughly 1,000 feet there. Um, you, you see a photo there. Um, of, a, of a pipeline where we employed the EX with a machine right outside the pipeline, no real manholes, a uh, very sensitive area. Um, and um, I believe that um, this was actually uh, presented at uh, multiple national conferences last year as well. One of the um, other projects that we're very proud of was a project in uh, Kansas City. Uh, we um, employed the um, TM technology there. Um, it was a brick sewer, 125 years old, and the original diameter was 114 inch. And uh, one of the the big problem there is that um, the the pipeline was under heavy traffic, four lanes of uh, traffic downtown. Um, 35 feet deep, um, and the real uh, problem was the 90 degree bends. We had two sweeping bends uh, with uh, significant deflections at the crown of the pipe. And you can see the photo before and after. Uh, we um, were very proud of that, and we typically uh, showcase that many times. Um, we installed the liner, and afterwards it looks like that. Um, we reduced the diameter, and as Sean mentioned earlier, um, a reduction in diameter doesn't mean a reduction in flow capacity. It's actually the other way around. We reduced the diameter, uh, but uh, because of our uh, great manning factor, we increased the flow capacity nevertheless. Um, and yeah, this entire project was with minimal impact uh, to the public. We finished the project within two weeks, and when I say we, I mean our, um, our licensees that we employ throughout the country. Um, we're coming um, towards the end of the presentation now, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the questions, but um, just want to run through one more time um, the benefits of spiral wound liners in general. Um, one of the big, biggest benefit and um, advantage that um, we can bring to, to our customers is that we can install in live flow conditions, typically without any bypass. And um, as Sean mentioned, yes, sometimes we, uh, we have to stop the flow, and maybe that is to install the machine properly, but that's just for a short period of time. And typically during the winding and the installation process, um, the flow can continue as usual. We also provide improved flow characteristics. Um, as I mentioned just one slide ago, we have an in a decrease of diameter, but we, we, we always make
make sure that we have an improved flow characteristic after the rehabilitation process. Um, it's a mechanical process, so um, there's no deviations in mechanical or physical properties of the final product. Um, everything is uh, factory manufactured, so uh, what, what as Sean mentioned, uh, uh, described it, what you see is what you get, and um, there's um, no deviation in our uh, material properties. Corrosion uh, resistant, um, that is a must for all technologies, I believe, um, and no site excavation. And I would like to add a little bit here to the no site excavation. Uh, typically, that's the case for most technologies in small diameters, but the bigger you get, the more access you need uh, to get down to the pipe. With our technology, um, or with spiral wound technologies in general, you will find that you only need to lower a profile strip into the manhole and use existing access chambers without the need of any excavation, really. Um, we have proven that our PVC profiles, um, um, that the lock integrity, uh, there's se severe testing done uh, um, at third parties, so we're very proud of that, that we are having a non-leaking system. Um, and um, yeah, structural integrity, I think that's a, that's a given for all technologies, really. And uh, we also follow our standards, ASTM uh, 1741, uh, to provide designs to any end user um, accordingly.